How about that? How about that? But it, it's amazing to me. The shots this guy hits him around the green. He's got a short game. Wow. All right, quiet plays, nice and still now. Some trouble for Tiger now, Roger. Well, in heavy grass, well right of the fairway and in trees. Uh, he has trees ahead of him. He can try to play up and across. I question that and the trajectory he's going to have to hit it out of this grass that he could reach the green. Yeah, he's motioning like he's trying to hit a high hook. Well, if he can get it to hook and he can get it up over those trees and he can hit it far <laughs> enough on that trajectory, it's a superhuman effort. But he doesn't have anything low. He doesn't have any options to try to squib something through through the trees and run it up. So uh, this is really his only option, trying to advance it toward the green. Get up, baby. Get up. Oh, he got it up over the trees. It is well right. Well, that's one way of doing it. I wouldn't have thought about that. Did he call bank, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling a slap shot. Okay. That's one way to do it. That's a terrific shot, too, from up above in the blimp, huh, Frank? Oh, it's, uh, it didn't touch a thing. So this is his angle. Get up, baby. No! And he got, uh, didn't leave much behind. Trying for the big high hook. One more look from above. Get up, Get up. Clean as a whistle. Okay. I guess it could have gone anywhere, but... Uh, Tiger's second shot over the trees and then landing right here, short and right of 14 green. We're live now here, Jim. You're going to play the analyst role. You're not retired just yet. Can't take us live, but it doesn't look too good. Yeah, take us through this golf shot. He's got a really awkward angle to the pin, uh, kind of running up the fringe line, the uphill lie, and, and a lot of green to work with. He's going to want to try to run this ball. It's just it's going to be a tough shot, I think, out of this muffy lie. Oh! So it must not have been as, as bad as I thought, but. Uh, Actually, all in all, not too bad of a play to get it in there 10 feet. Here's Tiger now for par at 14. This should break just a touch right for him. I had a putt coming on the similar line that just grazed the right edge. Oh. That's well done there, coming off the birdie at 13 after bogeying 11 and 12. Second shot, Luke Donald at 14. 161 yards playing a draw. And that's how you go from even to two under. And this is a nice little stretch for Donald Birdie Eagle hole out at 14. Began the day at even, so he's kind of thrust himself back into the picture here big time with this Birdie Eagle run. This was an eight iron for Luke Donald, which was perfect just from off the fairway. Yeah, back in his stance a little bit. And uh, plays a shot we haven't seen him play too often. Uh, sort of a going hook. And uh, it's into the wind, which is a good shot to hit. And uh, of course, perfectly done. Haven't heard a lot from Luke, have we, for a while? And although he's been very much in the picture here in years in the FedEx Cup. Yeah. 3rd shot for Sergio Garcia alongside the green at the par 4 7th. Very delicate shot downhill down green. Garcia working on a one under round and it just got better. Wow what a shot. Garcia to plus one. Beginning of the day at plus three. Of course we'll see Sergio next week in the Ryder Cup. And uh, Rods, the lie appears to be really good. It's perfect. I couldn't ask for a better lie. That's in. Look at this. Oh, X with an exclamation point. That's his second uh, no putt of the week. <laughs> How about that birdie? <laughs> Oh, 
Fantastic. I know his wife, Mandy, 36 weeks pregnant, probably just came off the couch for that one. <laughs> I'll bet. Oh, man. Oh, got a good break with the uh, second shot ending up where it did and took advantage of it. He walked to the right just like his hero Tom Watson, huh? <laughs> Well, the contact was perfect. Oh, yeah, come on. This Gaddy is one happy guy, too. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's great to see the emotion, isn't it?